It's a common issue on island, domestic violence and sexual assault. In a press conference in April, Governor Lou Leon Guerrero addressed the troubling numbers. Our domestic violence statistics are high. I think they're very alarming. We had 1,226 violence cases filed in 2021. The Guam Coalition Against Sexual Assault and Family Violence is holding a three-day training event focusing on fostering safety in all spaces, specifically for the youth and families. Technology Safety Project Manager at the National Network to End Domestic Violence, Audace Garnett, and founder of 1124, Tanji Reese, are leading the training. Audace and I talked about uh, technology abuse amongst young people and how it fits into dating violence. We also spoke about the importance of safety planning with young people and working with them, building relationship and trust with them. Um, young people are experiencing teen dating violence and um, technology abuse at really high rates, so it's important that we understand how it's being misused and we help young people understand how they can be remain how they can remain safe um, while using the technology as well. For those in need of services pertaining to domestic violence or sexual assault, many resources are available such as victim advocates reaching out. Their number is 671-477-5552. The Alley Women's Shelter under Catholic Social Services is also available for those seeking immediate shelter. 